Hello everyone, welcome back to Bleed Electrical. I am Triveli Naidu from the Department of Electrical Engineering at St. Vincent Paloti College of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur. In the previous videos, we have already covered so many topics from energy action planning, monitoring and targeting. Now in this video, I am going to talk about the QSIM charts, that is cumulative sum of differences chart. How do we prepare it? How do we do the calculation? So, so many things are we going to study in this video. Now starting with what is this cumulative sum, Q sum, okay, represents the difference between the baseline, that is the expected or standard consumption and the actual consumption points over the baseline over the period of time. So once we cover the examples, you'll come to know what it is exactly. Now the useful technique not only provides a trend line, it also calculates the savings, losses to date and shows when the performance changes. And a typical QSIM graph follows a trend and shows the random fluctuations of energy consumption and should oscillate around zero. So it is the expected value. But we see that often while we study QSIM chart, it definitely oscillates more than zero. Okay, so we are around zero somewhere, but not absolutely near the zero line. This trend will continue until something happens to alter the pattern of consumption such as effect of energy saving measure or conversely a worsening in energy efficiency that is if there is a poor control, this poor housekeeping or maintenance so then their fluctuations will be too much. So to start with, I am having this example of energy consumption and production data has been given to us for 18 months. During the ninth month, a heat recovery system was installed. Obviously, if a heat recovery system is installed, there has to be certain improvement in the system. Okay, so using the plant monthly data, estimate the savings made with the heat recovery system. So, I am going to find out for the nine months. So, we have been given this table. Okay, now we want to find the cumulative sum of this table. So, how do we do that? Okay. So let's first of all check out the steps for QSIM analysis. Okay, that is the question we need to solve. Now steps. The first step would be plot the energy production graph for first nine months. Why I'm taking nine months here? Because in the question itself, it was mentioned during the ninth month. Okay, so we have to take until the ninth month. So calculation will be till the ninth month. Okay, so starting from here, we will consider this. Okay, then what am I supposed to plot x with respect to y? Okay, this is how you draw the graph. Okay, so first thing is plot the energy and production graph for the first nine months. Then draw the best fit line. Okay, once you are done with this graph, say for example, you will get some random points here, there, here. Okay, so you have to have a nice fit to this graph. Okay, energy with respect, uh, respect to production graph, okay. And then you can say that energy and production, we are drawing energy with respect to production. So, draw the best fit line. Then derive the equation for this. Now, for this particular question, the equation is E is equal to 0.4P plus 180. I have already told you how to find out this equation, okay. This equation is actually Y is equal to MX plus C. So, this is the equation actually. So, M is the slope and C is the intercept. What is the intercept? Here you find from 0th position the Y intercept. So, we, we, we want to find out this. So, intercept is nothing but where the graph is going to start, okay. From there to the 0th position, okay, to the origin, whatever thing is there. And for slope, you can calculate. What is the formula for calculating the slope? You know it is if we consider this as y1, y2, so y1 minus y2 upon, and if we, I consider x points over here, so let me say x, x2 and x1. So similarly, so y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2, or if I interchange these points, vice versa. Okay, so I have to find out like this. So equation will be uh, known to us, via solving like this okay I'll, I'll be explaining you in the next slide now calculate the expected energy consumption based on this equation okay in the next slide i'll explain you what is this then 
Fifth point is calculate the difference between the actual and calculated. Okay, actual you have already written. Now calculated will be this, what you have calculated from this particular equation. And then you have to find out the difference between the two. Then compute the QSIM and then plot the QSIM graph. So this is how you do it. Then estimate the saving accumulated from the use of heat recovery system. So this would be the eight steps that you need to follow for this numerical. Okay, or any other QSIM numerical. So now, first of all, the first three things can be seen in this graph. So first thing what was said was the plot the energy production graph for the first nine months. So I've taken energy production on the x-axis and y-axis I, I have energy. So now this is the graph, okay. Now I have to draw a straight line covering all the points. See, if I consider this, this is the normal graph actually, but I want to have a straight line. So I'll consider this graph to be a straight line. Now, what about intercepts? As I told you before, the intercepts are going to be y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, for this particular line, you are going to have 0.4p plus 180. Okay, it is already calculated. If not, you can also calculate. You can take a random point. Okay, you can consider this as your slope. You can calculate and it would come out to be approximately similar. Okay, this will give you m. And what about intercepts? Intercept would be something here okay approximately 200 as you find over here okay not exact value will be known to you in the graph obviously but if you want to have this exact value you can go through the previous video that i have uploaded that is on linear regression okay uh, there is a method in which you can find out the calculated value or the equation of this line using mathematical approach okay that can be done simultaneously so solving simultaneous equation also you can get the value of m and c okay that can be done but if you don't want to go for linear regression you can use this technique to find out the equation okay but the results will be a bit different the answers would deviate then now fourth step was calculate the expected energy consumption based on the equation now what is the expected energy consumption over here this is already known in the question this is also known in the question now we have e calculated this is what i need to find out now what is the equation for me 0.4 p plus 180 so i need to calculate this so for the first point let me take so this will be 0 0.4 into p what is my p over here 380 so 380 so this is my p plus what 180 so this is how you find out 332 so you got the value as 332 so i'm substituting simply this particular point and this particular particular point in this equation and i'm generating this value now next step would be calculate the difference between actual and calculated energy use now you find over here you need to find out actual you already had this is the actual value now e actual minus e calculated so that means what the for the first thing e actual what was actual 340 340 is the actual value so minus what i have to subtract 332 once I subtract this, I am having a positive value. If it is negative, you have to write a negative value. So, it is coming out to be plus 8. But in this case, let us see. It is 340 and here is 356. That means 340, 340 minus 356. Correct. 356. So that is going to be minus 16. So this is how you find out the E actual minus E calculated. But this could be positive as well as negative. Now what about this cumulative sum? Okay, now you need to find out this cumulative sum. Cumulative sum, see the first value will appear as it is, okay. Since because here it was plus 8, I am writing it as plus 8. Okay, what about the immediate next value? Now you have to add both these numbers. Okay, you have to add both these numbers. That means minus 16 and plus 8. When you add them, you get minus 8. Okay, so similarly, you find rest of the values I have given over here. I had hidden it just because you be able to solve it. Okay, so solve it and see if the values are there or not. So similarly, then minus 8 plus 16 will give you plus 8. 
then plus 8 minus 8 will give you 0 then 0 plus minus 8 will give you minus 8 we are adding everything okay minus 8 plus 2 will give you minus 6 so this is how you go on writing and writing okay and this would be for the entire 18 months that has been given to you in the question don't forget that whereas while we were talking about the straight line we had taken only nine months okay because the heat recovery system was installed here somewhere okay so here the heat recovery system was installed so while drawing the straight line that means for this particular equation i did not consider the 18 months okay but when i'm drawing this table i have to consider the entire 18 months so i hope this is clear to you all now plot the qsim graph so for that how can you plot the qsim graph you take a 0th point okay this is how you draw the because it is positive as well as negative so you have to see to what extent your value is going because i know negatives are more so like minus 50 would be the last value okay so you find it over here and see the maximum value that you are having that is 10 so keep the graph between 10 0 10 so 20 30 40 n n number of things you can take and your minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 minus 40 minus 50 and minus 60 and this is q sum with respect to month so this is the month number 1 2 3 4 5 sixth month seventh month eighth ninth tenth 11 12 13 this is 14 okay 15 16 17 18 so this is how you draw the q sum graph I hope this is simple to understand. Then lastly, what was the agenda behind this numerical? Estimate the saving accumulated from the use of the heat recovery system. So observation, it is seen that QSIM graph now oscillates from the 0th line for several months and then drops sharply okay after the 11th month this is the observation from this particular graph so this suggests that when we added this heat recovery system it took almost two months to commission and reach proper operating condition after which steady staving has been achieved so that means it was very encouraging for us to install this heat recovery system because we are going to get savings later on in later phase so based on this graph if i see what is the saving for me it is 44 tons of oil equivalent now you'll wonder how because see it has been calculated see because the uh, heat recovery system was installed in the month of in the ninth month okay so what was the cumulative difference that time it was 6 ok we will not consider the minus sign and what was in the 8th month it was 50 ok correct so 6 and 50 so that is how it is coming 50 and I have subtracted 6 from it so that is how the saving is 44 TOE because in the ninth month we had installed the heat recovery system before that there was no heat recovery system so we can say that a saving of almost 2% of energy consumption has been achieved okay so if we we can go for another example like this okay so similarly it has been given to you okay here the equation is already mentioned to you so you don't have to work hard for this numerical okay you need not draw uh, draw the you graph unless and until mentioned so the energy production data for the month of jan and june 2011 of an industry follows the relationship something like that now calculate energy consumption which is equal to 0.5 p plus 220 a waste heat recovery system was installed at the end of June 2011. So here somewhere the uh, what you call this uh, system was installed. Okay. So now you have a further data of December also. Is using QSIM technique calculate energy saving in terms of tons of oil equivalent and the reduction in specific energy consumption achieved with the installation of waste heat recovery system. So this is how you need to do. So again, if I check this data, you find this is the table given to you, okay, but you need not find, you know, you are not given the P value. So you cannot draw the graph for this, okay, but you find this table over here, okay, you find this table over here, but I have been given the equation. So can I calculate? Yes, of course, I can calculate P, although P is not given to me, but E actual is given to me and E calculated can be found out from this equation. Okay, 0.5p uh, plus 220. 
okay this is how the table has been given to you so e actual and e calculated already known gives you the data see here the data was already given to you actual energy and actual production sorry you have to calculate this okay actual production is also given to you so here you need to find out this data okay so you need to find out e actual and e calculated just like before then e actual minus e calculated then you need to write the q sum for this particular question and then you have to plot this q sum so energy saving will be this last value so 96 toe is the energy saving achieved okay and if you find out the reduction in specific energy consumption it is 96 divided by 4550 now what is this 4550 how did this come this is the addition of the total this thing production for six months okay so this is how you calculate or find out the q sum calculations now this could be another example so i leave it for assignment you can try it out if you do not follow this, you can comment it on this uh, comment box and I will give the solution with this question also. So anyway, this is the solution for this question. Okay, thanks for watching. In the upcoming videos, I will be talking about the SCADA systems. Thank you.